Should we really be talking about voter enthusiasm right now? Aren't things at a position where everybody who who has who can move is going to want to vote? Well, that's the non-cynical way of thinking things through, right? The cynical way is saying nothing's going to change. Why go out there and vote if it makes no difference when I have to find a babysitter or somebody to take care of my kids? We have to make it worth people's while to go for. We got to tell them things are going to change and ensure that they change. And the words that we should be using should be just that. We should give them a reason why they must go out there and vote. But, you know, right now we have folks that are very concerned. I want you to listen to this and then we'll take it on the other side. Listen to uh, President Biden's senior advisor, former Atlanta Mayor uh, Keisha Lance Bottoms, expressing concern about voter enthusiasm among Democrats in Georgia. Just as a voter, I can tell you I am very concerned at the lack of enthusiasm in our state right now. I don't feel and see the enthusiasm that I think voters across Georgia should have right now. And I know that oftentimes in midterm elections, uh, people don't turn out to vote. I hope that won't be the Mm -hmm. case. Uh, this year in Georgia. She's talking about Democratic voters. to be Yeah, no, and I mean, I think she's sounding the alarm just as many people have been doing, but it ain't just Atlanta. I mean, it's Philadelphia in the race in Pennsylvania. Uh, It's Cleveland in the race uh, with with Tim Ryan and J.D. Vance. It's Orlando and Miami in in, uh, Val Deming's race. And so Democrats have to do a a better job, particularly, and I can't wait for my phone to blow up after I say this, but particularly (laughs) with black men. Come on, You you just can't come to black men (laughs) Uh, on a, uh, after Labor Day and say, come vote for us every two years. There That's has right. to be a more direct, uh, engaged approach with black male voters who, by all intents and purposes, after African-American women are the second largest That's turnout right. base. And that's just something that we haven't done forever. And it drives me crazy. So you're, in, totally, Ohio, you're in Ohio. Tell us. I am. And I, I'm amen. And what Bakari is saying, I mean, the Democratic Party often leaves out the whole swath of black men. And black men matter too, their votes matter, and they are very much an integral part of the success of the Democratic Party. And so uh, Bottoms is absolutely right. The enthusiasm gap is there and we gotta do a better job. Absolutely so, but you know, let me me tell you, I I sit down and watch uh, how, I'm in a very red area, and I watch how right through the year, it's not near the election, how Republicans nurture their voters. It's not a lot of them compared to Democrats and real independently thinking independents, but they nurture their voters. They're in contact with them. They're touching them. And the churches are there to nurture. The, every civic organization I see out here find a way to keep that camaraderie. That is why as a, as a, as, as a collective, they can see... Uh, progressives, they, they, they're able to convince uh, their, their pew that progressives are, in fact, some sort of a caricature. You can't just go to people when you want their vote and say, hey, we want to save the, save the country. All right, well, I need you to save the country now from uh, going into fascism and all of that. But they have nothing. I mean, to a lot of these folks, whether you're a fascist country a democratic country, a communist country, the cops are still beating your head down into the ground. So who matters? Here's the funny thing about it. Their votes are needed, right? Their votes are needed to keep that whole left flank, left and middle flank happy. But when the results are in, if they win, rarely do they come back. Not just say thank you, but make it worth your while. This is what we're going to do for you going forward. So I suggest in the next three and a half weeks for Democrats to do just that. Make promises and fulfill them. Tell them, give us a chance. Come vote. We will make it worth your while. And there are poli- there, there, uh, Pramila Jayapal, Ilan Omar, and several others, they have policies that if you guys put these folks back into office... It's ready to fly. So, folks, get with the program. Uh, Yes, I can understand many who want to stand on the sidelines because it doesn't really matter which uh, government goes for them. 
But I can tell you, when you move far, completely right to the fascist state, uh, you will live to regret it. So folks, please go out there and vote. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.